Hello everybody, your friendly DSC guy here today. Today I'm going to teach you how to run a sample on your HFT2000 step by step. What we're first going to need is to have this unit on a stable environment where it will not feel any vibrations and closed rooms where it won't catch any breeze since that will affect the, the heating process. Okay. Let us begin. We will need two fiberglass pads, a plastic spoon, and an aluminum dish, one, and a sample of the beef you'll be testing. All right. When you purchase our unit, we're gonna already have it set up on beef fat. So, but if it's not, you can go to the test menu and just load it up. Alright, first we're gonna tear. We're gonna put two fiberglass pads on the aluminum dish. We're gonna gently put it in here inside the tray. Okay, now we'll press tear. Now we go add our sample meat. We're gonna add, we add about three to four grams of beef. Okay. Now that we got around three to four grams of beef, we'll take it out of the tray now. And with the bottom of the spoon, we're gonna spread it on the fiberglass pads. But make sure you don't go, you leave about one fourth of an inch around the pad area. You don't wanna go overboard and let it stick out. So we're gonna smear this at the bottom. We're gonna spread it like if it was a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Just spread it evenly. It doesn't look perfect, but it should look something like this. Then, we're gonna get the bottom of the fiberglass pad, put on the top, gently press, and then we made a fiberglass hamburger patty. All right, now from here, we're gonna flip it so all that you Spread will be on the top now, and we'll put it back inside the tray. Then we'll close the hood slowly. You see a start indicate that means it's stable, and then you could press start. This is what it looks like once it's finished. You should get test over and the time, how long it took. Usually it takes about 15 to 18 minutes. And a B fat percentage. Not everybody's gonna get the same result as mine. Everybody will get something different. And usually you'll get something hard and crispy like this. This is simply trash. So when you're gonna run a new test, you're gonna grab a new aluminum dish and new fiberglass pads. You're gonna simply put it in the tray, press tear, add the sample of the meat you're gonna use again, or pork. But when you're gonna use pork, you're gonna change, go to test menu and load pork. And that's how you uh, run a simple test. <laughs> 